welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my third video, and not all the time will I say what number it is, because I'll probably just forget getting so used to making them. Um, but yeah, thanks for visiting my channel again. Um, if you haven't seen my first video, or my second video, I would advise that. Um, if you want to search me up, go to Carly YouTube, the joke that 80% of people miss. That was my first one, just... The title of the first one was The Joke That 80% of People Miss. Um, that was the first video. So, yeah. And up here, these will just be little announcements of things that are just coming or may just be the same thing of just telling you about my first video and just a thank you and a how to search me kind of thing. But, um, yeah. So, let's jump right in. So, as you seen in my last video, um, my last video was how to draw a cube, which is a 3D figure, and today we're going to have to, we're going to learn how to draw another 3D figure called a rectangular prism. So, first you just want to start off with drawing a 2D rectangle. And for those of you who haven't really learned much about shapes in school yet, uh, 2D figure is just like a flat shape, like you just draw it, like it's not something that you can, like it's not, it's just flat, it doesn't really have faces, it just has one face, it's just flat. Then you want to take two lines that run parallel up both of the sides, just like so. Then you want to connect them across the top, and if you have to go down a little more that's fine. And then you want to kind of take the bottom and connect the bottom. And then you, you want to go in the middle and connect them like this. Go from this point, make an L shape that goes backwards. And you want to make another. It, the only thing different about the ends is, is, is that on this end, you're going to make another backwards L. But it's outside of the figure you've already drawn. But the difference about this side is, is that the side, the backwards L goes inward and not outward. Like it doesn't go on the outside, it goes on the inside to make it 3D. And then you want to take the line that's right here, the point. If you have to make yourself a dot, that's okay. I do it all the time in school. And then I just erase it. So today we're going to use the dot just to show you. And then you just connect it. So now you have a 3D rectangular prism. Well, which is a 3D rectangle. So I'm going to erase this. And I will tell you. My last video, I told you that um, my videos that are like this will look like, the title of them will look like 3D figure number 2. This is the title of this one, as you already may know. But um, my last one was 3D figure number 1. And they only range from 1 through 2. So, this has been just another 3D figure that I told you I was going to make. So, um, yeah, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Again, if you want to search me for my first video, which I would advise because it tells you a lot about, some, some about what I do on my YouTube channel. But, um, I'm getting ready to have an informational video coming up here pretty soon, probably in the next few days, to tell you a little bit more about what I do on my YouTube channel and what's to come in the near future or in the far future. So thank you for visiting my YouTube channel again. Um, so yeah, have a wonderful day.